Oh yeah, it's a, well the the, the actual uh, release of the whole record will be January thirteenth, and uh, December 9th is going to be our second um, our second uh, single, which is called Amygdala, uh, and uh, the the name of the record is The Universe's Wildest Dream, and uh, it's uh, definitely a culmination of a whole kind of uh, awakening that was happening during uh, such an incredible part of our lives, this uh, pandemic that we're uh, starting to get out of. Um, and, you know, yeah, 2020, that was a, that was a hell of a year. <laughs> and uh, I, I started working, I started um, encountering uh, very interesting people because I wasn't on my daily routine. Uh, people such as uh, activist farmers, uh, people who had uh, ideas that were very macro um, so yeah, I, I started coming up with, uh, a, a concept for my next record because I started, uh, you know, writing music towards, uh, this feeling that I was having, which is that, uh, there are far bigger problems for all of us to join together and solve and more immediate exact, exactly, you know, so, um, uh, yeah, we have this little problem global warming right <laughs> we want to cool down the planet by you know maybe a few degrees uh two to be exact so uh it i was thinking about you know what kind of message would uh get that uh, uh that type of urgency across to to my audience or to whoever hears the title uh and i was thinking of the planet earth and thinking of how uh uh how precious it, it is in, within the, uh, the context of uh, our, at least our, our own galaxy. Uh, so I came up with this title, The Universe's Wildest Dream. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it really started to uh, affect the way that I uh, saw music actually in, in the way that I had, uh, you know, textures and building, you know, layers, you know, all of that stuff started to change towards that direction. Uh, and it, it all started from like one post that I made on Instagram. It was, uh, I thought of a prayer for the world and I recorded and that very audio recording became the first track of the record called Prayer. So on December 9th, when the new single drops, it comes along with an incredible film, short film. Um, and it's by the same title, Amigdala. Um, the filmmaker that I'm working with uh, is an incredible creative uh, collaborator and friend of mine by the name of Petra Richterova. Um, and yeah, oh, that's great. That's perfect. <laughs> um, she, is she has an incredible eye. Uh, she did my last music video, which is called On My Mind, which is a remix of a track of mine called All of My Mind, with Bilal and Pharaoh. Um, and this time around, she she sent me the video first. She she had this incredible broke up uh, dancer by the name of uh, uh, Riley, uh, Madeline Riley, and her nickname is Mad Lines. And she's absolutely amazing. I look at the video, it's intense, it's close up, and she's doing all kinds of uh, movements that immediately gave me the, the sense of feeling, just pure feelings that come from human beings. And that's why I named the tune that I wrote for this video, Amygdala. And I can't wait to to show this film to the to the world. I can tell you one thing, Miami, Florida is very, very different than the rest of Florida. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I, I grew up there. I was actually born in Gainesville, Florida. Um, I didn't really get a, a chance to visit Gainesville until I was 17. Um, we were on the way to New Orleans on a, on a road trip, my family. Um, but yeah, Miami, just an incredible um, culmination of uh, all types of uh, types of cultures, 
uh, especially from the Caribbean um, and South America and Latin America. Um, so I was, I would walk down the street and I would hear hip hop. I would hear um, compa. I would hear all kinds of like like reggae. And, um, uh, I would hear ninety five South. But all kinds of stuff uh, that was not necessarily you know genre based. You know, like the the soundtrack to my life was not genre based. It was just mixed up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know. Um, Growing up in, in Miami was uh, very stimulating, I, I feel, on a you know cultural level. And luckily, I had some incredible parents that were very cool. My dad used to be a DJ while he was in college. Um, he was kind of like the designated DJ. He, he came into college as a drummer, um, classical percussionist slash uh, drum set player. And he had all this eclectic music and uh, so, a lot of people had him be the DJ for their parties. And he had this great vinyl collection. And he would play when, when both me and my brother were in the womb, because I have a twin brother, EJ Strickland, badass drummer. <laughs> um, both of us were in the womb. Uh, my dad would put the womb up to his speaker and play uh, music from Coltrane to uh, Stevie Wonder to Parliament, you know, like all kinds of music. Um, I'm not sure if that had an effect, but hey, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. <laughs> A lot of my travels have led me to, to working with people like Most Def and also with uh, Feral Munch and and also with Bilal, who, who actually is a very good friend of mine from college. Uh, from the moment I saw him, I was like, you're very special, bro. <laughs> uh, another person who went, I went to college with was Georgia Ann Muldrow. But uh, yeah, people that I, would, uh, I aspire to work with, uh, I would love to work with Stevie Wonder on some kind of level. That would be great. Um, I would love to work with um, Slum Village. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a there's also like a world music type of scene that I would like to work with too. Uh, I actually got to, the chance to to encounter uh, Sheikh uh, Tidian Sek from Mali, uh, incredible musician. Um, he knows so many musical languages and also uh, spoken languages as as well. But yeah, he's a griot of our time. I would love to work with him. I love to work with Thundercat. I'm trying to get that to happen. <laughs> that was great. Uh, Flying Lotus, oh my God, you know? Like all these people just really blow my mind. Uh, and I'm so glad that I got to work with uh, Michelle and Degio Cello on Nihil Novi. You know, so yeah, it's, you know, I'm wide open. I, I feel music is music. I'm gonna do a whole lot of sideman stuff with uh, the incredible bass player of our time, I feel, uh, Chris McBride. Um, I'm gonna do a whole lot of touring with him uh, starting in February on to, and into the summer. Um, and also I'm, uh, I got with my booking agent and we're trying to put together some touring for, for this record as well. And uh, uh, yeah, we've got, two uh, dates at Blue Note, uh, and I'm finishing up uh, a, a contract on a, a, a date that I want to do in Miami, which is going to be very, very huge. Um, uh, I'm renting out the, the Banyan Bowl, uh, which is a, an incredible venue. If you look it up on Google, you're like, wow, that's beautiful. Uh, I played there with Chris McBride, actually, and, uh, and a few other bands, and uh, I really love the space. And I really want to kind of like make a, a very great splash as a leader in Miami because I've never done that before. <laughs> I've played ever, so many other places like Kongsburg, Nor Norway, and Japan. <laughs> but like my hometown, I haven't played there as a leader yet. So that's going to be very special. And uh, I, I'm, I'm loving that everything kind of led to me, uh, you know, doing it in such a fashion. So that's I'm really excited for that.
I would like to shout out the, the incredible musicians that I made this record with. Um, Charles Haynes, uh, he does everything, just everything. My, that's my drummer, that's also my co-producer. -pro, co um, also Kyle Miles, incredible uh, bass player. He plays both electric and acoustic bass. Uh, and Mitch Henry plays keys and organ on my, on my record. And uh, also the two guests that I have on my record, Lionel Lueke, incredible guitarist and vocalist from Benin. Um, and also Christy DeShield, DC's own. Incredible vocalist that is just, yeah, she's making so many waves and they're very powerful, very powerful. Um, and yeah, you know, Shout out Fuse Ecology, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Shorefire, you know, I, I'm really loving the team that I have, uh, that I'm working with. And uh, it's, it's, you know, in, in a, uh, some dates that we did in San Francisco at an incredible uh, venue called Black Cat, uh, I said to the audience, I said, one of the great things about this band is that I don't feel like an alien when I talk to them about my music. <laughs> it's like almost all the ideas that I uh, spew out, they just eat it up and they're like, sure, bro, I got you. Ugh, and they just do it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when you find your family like that, you know, that's, that's the thing you sound out, you know? <laughs> very, very cool.